My name is Jensen from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Velkos. So Velkos in solo queue is pretty average pick in my opinion. He's a pretty good lane bully. Um, his laning phase is probably like average I would say. He has a lot of poke, so he's really good with poke champions. He has some pretty clear weaknesses though. It's that he's a very mobile and slow champion, so he usually gets jumped pretty easily. So you need to be a lot of be aware about your positioning a lot and just try to stay back. And his ultimate is really good for zoning and taking down like the carries of the team, like. For example, Velkus was known to be a counter as Azir a while back when Azir was meta. And in fights, you would always just try to like ulti and focus the Azir so he wouldn't do damage. So yeah, just try to like burst wherever you can. But it's also really good to go for the backline. Laning phase, you can try to like proc your passive early on as well. Um, but it's generally pretty hard to get the passive proc early on versus like better players because you, you'd have to use a lot of mana to get it proc as well and typically people won't stand in your w like for, to get the two procs so you just want to like try to shift the lane early when you get blue buff is when Velkos becomes very dangerous because you can easily shift the wave and harass people under tower gain control and stuff and try to like remember to get pink wards so you can like control the side rushes mid lane is like it's like very important to have control and you just want to try to push push the tower and harass him under tower if possible if there's not an option to roam the the biggest weakness with Velkos in laning phase is that he's an immobile champion and if you're too far up and you don't know where the jungle are you're very likely to die so try to like always have vision on one side and just hug that side so you're safe since most of Velkos' skills have a pretty low cooldown you always want to try to use your rotation before ultimating so even if you're gonna like try to ulti someone in the backline, which is pretty common to do, try to at least like throw out your W, Q and E just on the front line or whatever before you start channeling your ultimate. Though it's always good to try to land your E on someone and then follow by like W, Q and then ultimate on someone, even if it's a tank, cause you do pretty good damage and try to hit multiple p people with your ultimate. It's, if possible, it's very important that you don't do like a bad ultimate with Velkos cause it's like, a big majority of your damage but it's also pretty hard to do bad ultimates with it so you don't really have to worry too much about that so Velkos also has pretty good wave clear so a good thing you can do is you can throw two w's on a wave because it will also proc your passive so that way you can like easily clear waves and stuff so how i see it right now there's two different ways you can approach your runes uh and your item build for most ap carries so the most standard one is probably going Nine magic pin reds, scaling health yellows, and CDR blues with AP quints. Um, but how I, I'm typically doing it now is I go for magic pin reds, which is pretty standard, scaling health yellow, pretty standard as well. And then for the glyphs, I go six scaling CDR, so I hit the 10% CDR level 18, and then three um, scaling AP with AP quints. And the reason I do that is because if I go for 10%. Scaling CDR and runes together with, with um, cooldown reduction boots and Morello Namicon. I'll hit 40% that way and get the cooldown reduction faster. It's a bit less burst compared to Sox, but I think for Velkas, you just want to like constantly bump out DPS rather than like try to burst someone. You can also go for the burst one. Um, both are totally fine options. So my Velkas Masteries page is 12, 18, 0. Um, I know some Velkos will like 18, 12, 0 more, but honestly, I feel like I've had more success with the Thunder Lord since it's also a lot better for laning phase. Um, everything here is pretty much standard. There's like a few things you could change. Like you could go from natural talent to vampirism. It honestly doesn't matter that much. You can also take Bundy, Bundy Hunter instead of Oppressor, but Oppressor is probably better for Velkos in my opinion since you have slow and you have CC. And in Cunning, everything else is pretty standard besides the... You can either go for the Secret Stash, like the Biscuit versus the Assassin. Personally, I prefer Assassin since, since it's better for killing people, but the Secret Stash is okay as well. And I go for the Precision over the Intelligence, because um, honestly, like Precision is just better in general in my opinion, since you'll do more damage this way. Um, at least on laning phase, but the cooldown reduction is fine as well. So for skill order and Velkos, I typically take W level 1 since it's it's your push spell and it's it's just an easy spell to hit as well for Velkos on laning phase, so you just wanna try to push the wave and 
just farm it a bit. And then I max the W as well, and then I take Q level 2, E level 3, and, and I max my Q second because it's in general just better than the E because it has better AP ratio and the slow duration scales, so you always want to max your Q after your W and Velkas. So for Velkas, there's a lot of different summoner spells you can go, but I generally prefer heal. I think a lot of Velkas would probably go Barrier, but right now I think Barrier is not that good of a summoner spell, unless you're against something like Set maybe, where the shield actually like reduces his damage a lot. So I would probably go heal most of the time. You can also go the likes of like Exhaust or Ignite. It's honestly mostly personal preference, but on immobile mid lane champions, you want like a defensive summoner in most cases, because Velkas is also very squishy. So probably heal or barrier in my opinion. So for my build on Velkas, I usually start Doran Trang and then I build a Morello into a Leandri. There's a lot of options you can go instead of the Leandri if you don't like it, but I feel like it's the highest DPS item, and especially for Velkas. So I'd go Morello into Leandri and then into Void Staff in most scenarios, and then like Rabadon after, and then Ludens or Sonya, depending on what you really need. Um, I also like to get my Sock Boots pretty early on Velkas if I go for the 15% CDR, because you just want a lot of um, magic pin early on on this champion for their burst. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.